What's going on everyone? It's your boy James, Grendel's Garage, and well, I got some goodies in and I wanted to share. Starting off, finally got a torque wrench, small torque wrench. Pretty sweet, I'm pretty happy with it. It was just a little cheapy, got it for like $30 off Amazon. <clears throat> I can go ahead and start getting my uh, actual foot, pound, foot pounds and stuff like that. So you pull down the lever, give the old one, two, and then you can uh, get your foot. I believe it goes down to 10. This might not screw. I'll go down, down to five. So I think that's why I got this one specifically because it went down to five. A lot of them start at ten and then go up. Um, there are other ones that went down to five, but uh, this was a good deal. So, oh, there you go. Five to forty-five foot pounds. <clears throat> Woohoo! All right. Oh, hold on, guys. I bumped you. <laughs> Shoot. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Next. Got some piston rings. I got two orders, just in case. I don't know. You just never know, right? I don't want to bend or twist anything. I'm not really sure what, how they're going to end up. Oh, wow. They're packaged individually. All right. Let's open up the one. So this is going to be for the Wildcat 80, because as you guys remember, I broke the other ones. So it's in packs of two. So each one's a pack of two. So one, two, three. And uh, there you go. Hard to tell. I mean, I don't know Jack about these. So right off the bat, look pretty good. Before we install them, I'm going to give them a little sand down. Do a little preconditioning. I've never done that before, but... I think uh, LA Hover is one that kind of showed me about that one. Anyways. There's that, but the taste of resistance. The real MZ65 is what I bought from eBay. Kind of excited. Kind of excited, super excited. I don't know what I'm gonna even put this on, in all honesty, at this point. <clears throat> Maybe the Zeta 100 Max might be a good little move. Ooh, yeah, look at that box. <laughs> Hopefully this is gonna be a lot of bit of an improvement compared to the Nasty Jack. Nasty Jack has a lot of flaws. Now, with that being said, the Nasty Jack's affordable. Maybe we can do something else with the NASA jack down the road. Oh, ouch. Just got a sliver. Ah, there we go. All right, let's try to make this quick. Move along, move along, move along. Quite the packaging job, in all honesty. All right. <laughs> oh, we got tape on the side too. All oh, those dogs. Those dogs. There's no pipe. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh a little change up. Went with a little blingage, huh? What do you guys think? Oh, I should have grabbed the old master jack. You're gonna have the whole pipe for that one. Well, very well packaged, very happy about that. Uh, getting this off is going to be a terror. Hold on tight, guys. You might do a little faster. Flip forward in the future kind of thing. Go. Alrighty, everyone. We are back. I have unpackaged the real... 
MZ65. Pulled out a couple of the other pipes that I have for comparisons as far as the MZ style. This is the second MZ style pipe I ever got. Um, the current one that's on the Banshee Queen is the first one that I got. And believe it or not, it's actually even smaller than this one. This has actually been a pretty good pipe. What you can notice right off the bat though is the header is actually going to be smaller than the exhaust at this end, which from my understanding helps airflow, but doesn't necessarily help with um, <clears throat> a lot of scavenging and stuff like that. So you're going to have a little bit better low end, a little bit better mid, like kind of like mid, mid range, which has been great. Um, but your top end isn't always going to be there. So this has been a good little pipe. Ooh. Next, I was trying to save a dollar and get the nasty jack and She's thick, man, and really right off the bat when you look at them, you're like, oh yeah, that's very similar. A lot of st same stuff going on, but as far as quality, it's just not the same. Um, you can just see right off the bat, the flange, the part that the bolts go into, quite a bit thicker on the real NZ. The welds overall are just a lot better, too. I think, I don't know, until I get on a bike... I won't know, but um, the Nasty Jack kind of struggled with some angles and we were really, you can see right there, rubbing up on the Banshee Queen a little bit, even with the rubber piece and vibrating. Um, next, you're gonna see that that is like a perfect, perfect symmetrical piece, right? The Nasty Jack is not symmetrical at all. And I would imagine that that's gonna hurt with resonance, the resonation of the pipe because it's off center, I imagine it's not gonna get the exact same flow every time. But with that being said, this pipe has been good to me. Did reach some top speeds on this pipe. So that's, you know, something not to scoff at. So, here we are. I'm thinking right now we're gonna go ahead and throw this onto <clears throat> the Zeta, because this is the only other one that this will fit on, so I think we're gonna throw that on the Zeta 100 Max and uh, we'll take it from there. So stay tuned. I'm not sure when I'll get time to do this, but yeah, I just kinda wanna show this off. Everything's airtight. That kinda acts as a nice little cup and I blew very, very hard and uh, yeah, seemed pretty good. So there you go, guys. Let's see where this Real MZ65 clone, still clone, I guess, in my opinion, <laughs> gets us. All right, here we go. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, James, Grunos Garage, and we are getting ready to get the real MZ65 type on to Typhon, on to the Zeta 100. Looking forward to it. Um, the gasket that I had broke off. Fen uh, <laughs> friendly reminder that uh, that port exhaust port right there does not have a whole lot of mating surface and what I'm finding is it destroys gaskets when you take it off so what I was really hoping was to use these really nice metal gaskets that I found but they're just really small they really block off that exhaust and I didn't want to do this injustice because the <clears throat> um, CDH pipe had a really good gasket, so I was able to grab one of these gaskets and took a good old file to it. It just had a little bit of a beveled edge. Sanded it up a little bit. I broke one. I put in the vise and just went a little bit too hardcore, so I just went slow on this one, and let's just see for comparisons if I can match that up. You can just see it's just a little bit more opened up, so it should do a little bit more justice. Also, too... <laughs> The studs I put into this one last time were just a little too short, so I said the heck with it. So I cut some bolts, made them into studs, locked tied them in. We're good to go like Flynn. That's it, that's all I know. I'm excited. With that gasket, this guy ready to go. Um, I did modify the hole quite a bit with the drill and a file just to kind of bring it down. Um, I think unfortunately it's not going to match up, but I got a couple of tricks up my sleeve hopefully, or we just run it one time, hopefully don't destroy the gasket, exhaust gasket, and uh, go from there. Um, one last thing too, I got to tighten up the main chain, she's pretty loose right now, it's shifted forward, that takes two seconds, I'll do it off camera. 
did all this off camera. I've already done this on the Nasty Jack. <laughs> this one was a lot less work, to tell you the truth. So I'm super excited. It's all airtight. Um, funny enough, the Nasty Jack actually did spring an air leak. So I'll show you that in a different video. But it is leaking air. So that might have explained some of the loss a little bit um, towards the end with that pipe. Anyways, I digress, guys. I'm going to go ahead and slap this all together off camera. So that way we can just enjoy the ride. Stay tuned. Alrighty, everyone. We're back after some show and tell. End up going with the old uh, couple washers that I made right there out of rubber. Sorry about the lighting, not great right now. And we're throwing on a little bit of a carburetor protection there because it is pissing rain and we're gonna go ride. Probably just go for about three miles max. Um, I'm excited though, it mounted up really well. Everything's good. We do have the longer uh, stud bolts in, so that's gonna be really nice. The real MZ65 pipe. So, save this one for last today. Try also adjusting the chain. Seems a little bit tighter, so we shouldn't have as much chugging, lugging. Everything seems good though, so stay tuned. Let's go ahead and hit it. Typhon, here we go.
Alright guys, I'm gonna get her inside, then we'll go ahead and talk about her. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> wow. Alright everyone, we're back from <laughs> both rides. I think you'll probably see the Avenger first, just because it's the little bit more popular and I'm having a lot of fun with it and all that jazz. At this point, we're gonna run measurements again, make sure our squish is good. And then I think we have a carburetor issue maybe. I gotta dive into that a little bit more. It's just interesting. I'm not really <laughs> like what? But anywho, Typhon guys rode like a champ. That bike, that bike, that pipe was ripping. We're gonna go ahead and get her all wiped up and get all the mud and grime off, but uh, held up really well. When I got it back in the garage, I torqued it back down so we're nice and specked out. It didn't really need torquing at all. Really happy with how that ride went, guys. That was so much fun. Hopefully the video turns out really well. I have not obviously watched it with all the droplets and stuff, but uh, check it out, dude. <laughs> this little tape job did not do too bad. Oh man, I don't know what I just did there. Changed all that, but you saw it before. Um, anywho, pretty fun, guys. Um, overall, very happy. We don't we didn't hit quite the top speeds, but that could have been a little bit of the airflow. Plus, you know, I'm not really sure. Don't do that at home is what I'm trying to say, guys. Don't do that at home. But, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> muddy girl, all the gas and stuff dripping off of it. So the chain was a lot better, so tighten that up and get in the back. All situated, it definitely helped. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to think what else, what else, what else? Oh, I should have taken that off. Oh, man, didn't think about that. And, uh, yeah, I think right now our limiting factor right now is obviously we're still in the break-in, even though I've been writing like we're not breaking in anymore. I think we're kind of maybe past it, but... Carburetor, we'll have to adjust that and we'll dive into this a little bit later after we do some other stuff. So, I love that pipe, that is awesome. We lost two miles an hour overall top speed, but everything else leading up to it is a lot more fun. <laughs> I 
Good stuff, guys. Cool. Alrighty, until next time. Grand's Garage. This is Typhon. <laughs>